Hey, how's it going? Jimmy, where are you? Where have you been? I've been waiting for hours. Yeah, I'm almost there. Uh, I pulled over at some hole in the wall. I'm gonna probably grab a salad or something. Salad, Jimmy, I am up to my neck with monsters and the undead. You need to come here now. Yeah, right. Um, I did bring the toll money. You don't have to worry about that, so I'll be there in a bit. Okay, please, come here quickly. Please. Oh, green herb. Welcome to Hole in the Wall Foods. How can I help you? Okay, yeah. Um, I'll have one salad to go, please. You want croutons with that? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, great, thanks. Here's your change. Oh, man. That was my toll money. I really needed that. I'm crying out loud. Where is this going to take me? Oh, gosh. Hey, yeah, no, I'm fine. Uh, I just had to get the uh, toll money. It uh, it got misplaced, so yeah. Jimmy, please let me know if you're in danger. Are you need of my help right now, Jimmy? Please tell me. No, no, uh, I just got a little lost. I'll, uh, I'll be able to find my way back, okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah, um, I, I got a little stuck, but um, things are looking good. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Jimmy, where are you? I haven't heard from you for over three hours. Hey, no, things are not looking good. I have no idea where I am at. Do you know where you are? No, I have no idea where I am right now. Wait. Shh. Do you hear that? Dude, someone is below me. Look, I gotta get out of here. What's up guys, Jimmy here with another review slash first impressions video. The, t the game I'm going to be reviewing today, obviously from the title, is Resident Evil Revelations. This is a game that's currently available uh, for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PC. Um, the original version for this game was actually released on the 3DS, which this is an interesting title. And before I get started, I just want to give a huge shout out at the folks. Uh, at G2PO and Gamersgate.com for providing me with this copy to review for you guys. I am reviewing the Steam version, um, reviewing the PC version. I'm really excited, guys. So like I said, this is an interesting uh, title that I'm going to be reviewing for you today. Obviously, Resident Evil is a game that sold the franchise, sold tens of millions of copies. You know, huge success over the, over the years. Now, I have to say, guys, Right off the bat, this game, does it have the best controls in the world? No. Does it have the best visuals and graphics in the world? No. Is it worth your time still? Absolutely. Now, let me just, some people might get a little bit nervous, like, ah, controls aren't that perfect. They're not that perfect. And there are better looking games out there. The visuals aren't horrible. Some of the character models and actually some of the areas also, character models in uh, some of the, the the areas that you're going to check out are pretty cool looking, um, but not the best graphics in the world. But let me tell you guys, this is one of the better games that I've played for, for 2013. I'm not going to lie. This is a game that is really worth your time, especially if you're a big Resident Evil fan. I know uh, in the past several years, there haven't been um, a whole lot of incredible Resident Evil games, um, especially the past... 10, 10 or so years. There were some dogs, I will admit. This is not one of those. Uh, this is one of the games, if you're a fan of the series, to definitely, definitely check out. There is a demo available, I believe, for, for all um, platforms. So in Resident Evil Revelations, you have the opportunity to play different characters in the game, different perspectives uh, in this really cool story, whether you're playing with Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield, um, and it's told in a really cool way. Different perspectives with the different characters you'll encounter. Um, there's a good pacing to it um, from what I've played so far. The hours that I've put on this, there's a good pacing. There's a lot of real cool exploring that you get to check out. Uh, now, some of the monsters that you take down, obviously, you know, there were some issues with, you know, 
I felt a little odd at the way some of these enemies uh, fell. Um, you know, again, this is a game that was taken originally from the Nintendo 3DS and, and is for current generation consoles and PC. Um, but like I said, there is a really good pacing to it. An interesting story. Um, decent music, really good soundtrack, excellent cutscenes, um, you know, that had me really interested in the story. So in Revelations, you'll have the opportunity to get different weapons like you would in the other games uh, for Resident Evil. And as with other games in the Resident Evil series, in Revelations, you have to be very careful on how you use your ammo. Oftentimes, the ammo is very scarce, and you know, the last thing you want to do is run out of ammo with a room full of monsters. You'll be taken down very quickly. Um, of course, in Resident Evil Revelations, um, like other games in the series, you'll have the chance to upgrade your weapons, which I really enjoy doing. And also, of course, in the different rooms, in the different areas you'll get to explore, there'll be different items and other weapons, like different grenades you'll get to pick up. Now, one of the things I really liked in Revelations is early on in the game, you'll get this scanner. Now, this scanner will be used to uncover hidden objects, hidden items, and it'll help you throughout the campaign. Oftentimes, you'll be in an area or room, and you might think, well, I really picked this area clean or picked this room clean. There's really nothing else to it. Well, you might be wrong. If you use the scanner, you'll be able to uncover hidden objects, hidden items. In addition to scanning different areas to uncover different objects, you'll have the opportunity to scan the different monsters and zombies that come your way. And what it is is when you scan these monsters and scan the undead, you'll get a certain amount of percentage points. And once it reaches 100%, um, you'll get rewarded um, with an item that will help you throughout the campaign. Uh, I really had a lot of fun doing this. I'm having fun doing this so far, and I really want to play more. It really adds just um, an interesting twist to this game. So Resident Evil Revelations also has a raid mode where it's more of an action-oriented. Uh, you can have, actually, a friend play with you co-op, uh, for the raid mode, it's more action oriented where you're playing different sections of these maps with a co op partner. And uh, I just thought it was really cool that that was added to the game to put more value on the game. This story so far I've enjoyed so much, but to include this additional mode um, just adds a lot of value. So, overall, guys, I strongly recommend that you check out Resident Evil Revelations. As I mentioned earlier, there is a demo available for this game for the PC, the Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 3. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Again, not the best looking game in the world, and the controls aren't perfect. But what it does right, it does really right. And again, if you're a fan of the series, if you've been a little disappointed in the past few years, uh, for the different games that have been released for the Resident Evil series, you should definitely check this one out. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these reviews, please give this video a thumbs up, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.